Welcome to Code Mania. Learn more, express more. Hello everyone. This video is about how to analyze different behavior of multi select pick list like holding value in apex variable using this multi select pick list in visual force page application so how to use this tag symbol this is the tag symbol and the tag utility is multi select pick list used in visual force page fetching its value and storing in apex variable so next demonstration will be is about all this which I have described here I have designed one application which will explain the behavior how this multi select pick list works and if we store the value in list we can easily use it in future application here I have select one value and select none and it will be selected none now if I select number of values then first one is the only apex variable which is which it is storing and the second one is list we have stored those value into the list now our mission is to find out how do we design this approach how to how we implement this multi select pick list for the apex page how do we save the selected value from the multi select pick list into apex variable so that we can use the apex variable for future reference so for this i have placed one controller here which where i will be defining the apex variable which will hold the value which will store the value for the multi select pick list selected values here this is the apex controller now i am defining one variable here this is the controller this is the constructor so constructor is for that we can the value the apex variable which are being used into this visual force page any value which we define here will be available during the load of this page so here i am using this select options and uh, this is the list of select options so to place any multi select pick list you'll just have to define one variable value one parameter value sorry one attribute value to true that is multi select for the select list this is nothing but the select list select option so this is the select option and uh, now i am going to add select list and select option tag so this is how we can place we can place multi select pick list in the visual force page here select list and select options now i'll have to assign a value for this select list and uh, size how many items will be available for the selection and this multi select is equal to true which does make this select list tag multi select and the options the value which will be available we'll have to define here so
so I am defining one list of string which will hold the selected values for this select list okay it just apex tag ending so as you can see that here multi select field has been placed into this visual force page but still no value has been added so i'll have to add some values into the select options here so as we can see that the values are will be available oh well uh, okay this should be here and uh, this should be here list of colors and selected option selected option should be within this so here selected options will be within select options and uh, the list of string which will hold the value which is the apex variable will be in the select list now i will be defining one apex page which will hold the value wh which will show the behavior how it will be storing value into the apex variable here page block section section item and i'm just placing the tag and uh, providing one id and uh, one title and one id for this page block section now we can see any if we select any values nothing is populated here until or unless we are refreshing this page block section so for this we will have to place one action support apex action support tag which is very useful tag in visual force page designing so it will action some dummy method based on some event changes and we'll re-render a particular section based on the id here i have placed re-render this id section and I, this is the creation of this dummy method so if i select any value we can see that it is being populated within this list so this is how we can easily find out we can easily store any selected value into the list and we can use this list for future reference or any page designing or any anything based on the requirement so this is the code uh, this is the visual force page code this is the controller code just we have added some value and we have added the action support and added the list so this is how we are just placing the value now we have another video next where this this in this video where we can we have placed multi select pick list which is input field type where we can just store the value 
we can choose the value and will be available in a string and this is the list so this is very useful tag useful where we'll have to place multi select pick list input field into the visual force page and we'll have to use it for any application so i am going to demonstrate this page where we have placed one input field which is multi select pick list type and uh, this chosen value will be stored in a list of string <coughs> now as i am going to place one input field here so i'll have to use this apex form now adding this apex form and uh, placing one output level select later now i am going to add one controller so using this controller i can easily define one apex variable of type list of string and uh, can easily store the value which is chosen from this multi select pick field into the apex very well so just defining this constructor and uh, as i am going to place the apex input field so i'll have to create one object of this custom object code mania underscore underscore c now i can easily place the input field into the visual force page now i am going to place one input field multi select underscore underscore c which is multi select pick list type in code mini underscore underscore c object okay this should be input field so you can see that this input field which contains a b c value we can choose number of values from available value and we can remove it so based on this addition and removing the values will be available so for this i'll have to use one apex action support the action support has been very useful for visual force space designing and controlling its behavior like uh, refreshing any section or something like this re-rendering any section so 
using this action support we'll be calling one method which will store which will get the values from the input field and will store in a particular string based on the event on change so this method has been created in this method we will be storing the input field value into a string variable based on the event on change so if any value is added into the chosen in into the chosen section this string value string variable will be populated with all the chosen values and if anything is removed then the same so i am just assigning the value into this string so based on event on change so any value is added or any value is removed this method will be called and this string will have the chosen value of that field multi select underscore underscore c so to understand the behavior i am just creating one apex page block and placing the string placing the string variable now re render this id so if any value is added or removed on event on change this section will be re rendered now if i add or if i remove we can see this string variable have this value but in semicolon separated format so to convert this string which contains number of selected value into a list of string what will have to do i'll have to create on string array and uh, this string array will contain the splitted value of the variable selected letters by semicolon so this is how we can convert one string to array array of string now i am going to run one for loop which will convert this array of string into list so for this i'll have to create one variable list of string so that we can add those values from the list of sorry string of array to this list of string here this list dot add the value from the array
now we are to understand the behavior to understand if this list are being populated with those values or not we just placing this list into the visual force page and we save it and we try to find out what's going on as we can see that lots of things are going on so for now we just have to place one break point here to find out to understand the situation very clearly now if i select any value and move into this chosen we can see that the x which is string and y which is list this contains the upper part is semicolon separated and lower part is a string uh, is a list of string so you can use this list of string into future variable or any other application where it will be required easily so it just fetching the value and placing into the string converting into a list of uh, array of string and array of string is converted into the list of string so this is how it has been worked now that's all for this video now if you like this video i mean if you really find this video helpful like this video subscribe it ask your friend to subscribe it to help us to grow our community thank you